what's happening? This is Spirit. We're going to go over a few uh, um, drop deck choices uh, in meta style for uh, Community Warfare. As soon as this Merc Apocalypse ends, it's going to be important that a lot of us get on the same page as far as what mech builds we're using when we want to field seriously competitive 12 mans. So we're going to go over a couple of things here. I'm going to show you my particular drop deck and the meta mechs that the meta mech builds and loadouts that are on those mechs. Um, I'm picking some mechs that are commonly owned, uh, being the Kit Fox, one of the most commonly owned lights, the Stormcrow, probably the easily the most commonly owned medium over the Nova and uh, Mist Links, um, the Hellbringer, which is a new love. Uh, everybody seems to have found a, a lot of people might not have this one yet because it's wave two and not available for sea bills yet so if you don't have it don't mind that because I'm also going to be doing the Timberwolf which well, just about everybody owns so I'm going to go through those four mechs uh, as you can see here god that's a that's a depressing sight as you can see here uh, that's my drop deck Kit Fox, Stormcrow, Hellbringer, Timberwolf so we're going to go over the loadouts here starting with the Kit Fox so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble it and put it together for you. We'll strip it down. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do with the Kit Fox. This is what Metamex has us doing on it. I, I left the Omnipods on because this video is going to be too long if I build it from absolutely nothing. Um, the left torso is the S for the sake of the jump jet. Nothing else really going on in there. The right torso is... Uh, not really important, so I just put the prime in there for that turn rate. The right arm is uh, energy, you know, your good old ECM arm, that's that's necessary. And the left arm is a two energy from the Kit Fox Prime. So the way that this is going to be run, stop growling. Stop growling. The way that this is going to be run is uh, we're going to do two large lasers here, or ER large lasers rather. That's for that long range poke. We need that because, uh, for one thing, I don't think that the Kit Fox very, does very well running around skirmishing, so it needs that poke, but also we're trying to counter the 3PC meta, right? So we're going to throw that on there. We're going to throw a backup weapon of a ER medium over here. That's so when you lose that arm, you've still got something. Besides that, why not? A little more firepower. Now, obviously, Kit Fox is going to have his ECM. So that's our basic loadout right there. We've got the uh, the two ER larges for the poke, ER medium for backup, and the ECM. Um, like any good any good mech has, he's going to have his. Uh, well, let's see. Let's put it here. You can really put this anywhere, but I decided I'm going to put it here. The Mark One targeting computer. So that's going to be slotted in right there in his uh, right torso. Now that leaves us with three tons. Um, we obviously don't need any ammo, so we're just going to slap in heat sinks. I like to put them, um, where's my, there we go. I like to put a few of them here, just because if I lose my, maybe not all three, if I lose that arm, most of my heat dissipation goes out the window anyway, because I lost my lasers. I'm going to put an extra one here to help uh, pad that ECM, though. And that, that finishes off our kit fox. Let's look at armor levels. Um, maxed out the head. That's not my style, but Metamex says to do it, so I'm going to do it. And besides, I'm tired of occasionally dying to airstrikes. Maxed out head, max, well, actually, you know what? 210 of 210. Maxed out everything. Simple. So we're going to save that. Kit Fox is done. That one's mega basic. Super basic. In the interest of time, I'm going to stop stripping Max, because that took too long. So instead, I'm going to leave them put together and show you what's on them. Storm Crow. Okay, I used to have a Lerm Crow. I'm not going to do that in Community Warfare anymore. When I'm playing against good teams, it doesn't seem to work out well for me. So as you can tell by looking at it, this is a laser bomb at Storm Crow. A lot of you are probably already familiar with this. We look at the head, we have an ER large laser in there. That's awesome. Nice center focus damage there. Obviously nothing in the CT. Right torso is going to hold another ER large laser as well as my targeting computer and a couple of heat sinks. My left torso is going to be a Mimic, but with a Clan Active Probe instead of the uh, Mark I targeting computer. Always good for, for people to be bringing probes along to uh, spoil that ECM fun. 
Now, right arm is going to hold my backup weapons. ER medium lasers. A whole bunch of heat sinks, right? Because just like the kit box, when shit hits the fan, you start to lose those. Well, you know, it's not actually so much of a concern losing those because they're in your torsos and CT respectively. This is really just for backup damage to really be able to get in and, and skirmish close up. And also, once you start to overheat and you can't use those anymore, you've still got these two. So, left arm's a shield arm. Uh, well, more like a ghost arm. No armor. It gets blown off. Doesn't really matter. For those of you who don't already know, when you lose an arm or an arm and a torso, the next component is still shielded by that missing arm. So if this is blown off, that sparking stump is still absorbing damage when, when fire goes through where the hitbox would have been. 30% reduction. So 30% of damage is absorbed by that missing arm going towards that torso. So you're going to be torso twisting, obviously, to the right a lot, blocking with that missing stump of an arm. Simple enough. My mouth is getting dry. And uh, as far as the armor levels go, I'm down to 48 on the legs. Maxed out on the head. And obviously I saved a lot on uh, that arm. Uh, front load. Definitely front load. Um, try not to let people get into your rear torso, but you need a lot of that armor up front for those uh, long range pokes. Alright, so that's the Storm Crow. Next thing we're going to look at is our Hellbringer. So there's my Hellbringer there. Open it up. Alright, this thing is specifically long range poke. With that ECM, it makes you a lot harder to target. You're not getting lurmed, hopefully. This thing's got a targeting computer right in the CT there. Right torso, nothing but a whole bunch of heat sinks, and you're about to find out why. Left torso, here's your damage dealer right here. Three ER large lasers <clears throat> and the ECM accompanied by the fourth ER large laser in the head. Now you see my style coming through. I've got uh, four armor in the head. I don't often get uh, headshot into my Hellbringer, so I don't usually have to worry about it. Um, that's just my choice. You know, I don't think Metamex advises. I have such a low armor level, I'm kind of defying it on that one. But uh, yeah, there, there you are, just four ER large lasers. Your arms are empty and ghosted. That's important because that ghosting bought me an extra two double heat sinks. I've also got double heat sinks in the legs. But you're down to 48 armor. So that was just four ER large lasers, two weapon groups, fire and fire. Uh, alpha striking, probably 65-70% heat, so only in emergencies. You know, Mark 1 targeting computer and modules to support. I'll go over modules in a sec. Very simple. Nice long range poke. Lots of damage. You can fire for a long time too, even with all those lasers. The Timberwolf. Doesn't it look kind of shrimpy without its missile pods? Well, that's kind of a good thing. So, let's look at the Timberwolf. Alright. Now this one's my favorite. I actually do my best work in this thing. It's been around for a long time. This is in no, by no means unique. Large pulse laser in both torsos, as well as some heat sinks, and, uh, oh, importantly, uh, Timberwolf S, right, torso, two jump jets, mostly for uh, combat skirmishing, not for getting up on things, it's not sufficient for jumping up on things. My left torso has no jump jets, instead I've got an extra double heat sink uh, slotted in there. Right arm and left arm, ER mediums, on both cases. Now let me tell you something. Metamex has the Timberwolf C, I think, because you have an energy in the uh, CT with the Timberwolf C, I, I believe. Anyways, um, that's the way they have it, and they have one of their ER mediums in the torso uh, CT instead, and uh, one of these arms only has one laser, and I think it gets a, a perk as a result. Uh, I get no perk, because I have two energy slots. So that's what Metamex will tell you. I don't have the Timberwolf C anymore because I liquidated down to my prime, but um, it works just fine having the four, two in each arm. Okay, lots of heat sinks as as before stated, um, and like I said, targeting computer Mark One, and uh, I think that's it. There's nothing else in the legs. 
So anyways, that is a basic rundown of a successful meta drop deck for Community Warfare. Now, let me just browse through the modules real quick. A couple of my mechs haven't been perfected on modules yet because, well, I actually have enough money to buy one, so maybe I'll do that now. But my Kit Fox should be good. It's got an advanced zoom. I like that. And uh, range and cooldown for its large lasers and shock absorbance when I drop down off things. Good as you can get. I mean, some might prefer to lose the zoom and grab a radar derp. Sure, go ahead. I like my zoom, so I'll keep it. Should have cool shots on there, but I'm trying to make money. Stormcrow. This is... He may or may not have modules. Ah, uh, he has modules. Okay. So I've got range on the lasers, because the further those large lasers could do their optimal damage, the better. And I've actually got cooldown on the medium laser, so that when I'm in a situation where I'm using that, I can fire it a lot more, as well as advanced target decay, which should not be there. No, forget that. That will be a radar, a radar derp. I don't really know why it was target decay. Yep, there's my radar derp in the less. So that, that's an easy switch. See, like I said, this used to be a Lurm Crow, so it still had its target decay left over. Radar derp. Storm Crow has no ECM, and there's a good chance you might be operating outside of ECM. Radar derp. Not optional. Don't, don't question it. It absolutely has to be there. Now, Hellbringer. Alright. Um, yeah, he has modules. I like my seismic sensor. Um, you could run a radar derp on this, too, in case you lose your ECM or if you're under a, some sort of tracking. But instead, I've got my seismic sensor. Um, that's kind of a holdover from when I was doing six medium lasers and I was a lot closer. I may wind up switching that soon to a radar derp, but six million Seabills, eh, not, not huge on my priority list. Target info gathering, I really liked for this, especially when it had six medium lasers, just because I can find that weak torso sooner. Another thing I might switch out later, because at the ranges I'm engaging with this thing, I can't get targeting info because they're too far away, or they're under ECM. So that's not helping me. That helps no one, either of those. So I'll probably go to a radar derp and... Maybe I'll leave the seismic sensor in case I get ambushed, I guess. So there's your Hellbringer, but what's important that is the uh, weapon modules. You are a large laser cooldown, so I'm firing those lasers faster, and large laser range for obvious reasons. Good stuff. Timberwolf has no modules, I'm fairly certain. So we're probably not going to have much to go over on him, but I'll tell you what I would have. Yeah, I'm too poor. I'll buy one right now, though. Um, he's the one with those large pulses and the... Uh, ER mediums. So what I'm going to do, I think, is extend my ER medium range. Let me check. I can't remember what the range on those large pulses is. I want them to match range so I can fire together or come close to matching range. So my large pulses reach out to... That's not helpful. Uh, what is that? 600, I guess, ish, and then they drop off. That's obviously a lot more than my ER mediums. So yes, ER medium range would be absolutely splendid on that guy. That's what I'm going to buy him. Let's pop one of those in there real quick. Right. Now this guy desperately needs a radar derp. Like, actually, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to need to save up for a radar derp instead. Radar deprivation is absolutely more important than my ability to fire my lasers further. So I'm going to save up that those sea bills until I can get a radar derp. I got it. It's it, you have to have it. You, you just have to have it, especially in community warfare. So yeah, I'm going to bite the bullet and wait on him. So that pretty much finishes this up. Um, that's a good community warfare drop deck set to metamech standards. I might seem a little boring. I don't know how you feel about lasers. Maybe you like missiles better. Maybe you like ballistics better. Well, too damn bad. That's the meta mech build. If you really want to be competitive, these are the mechs that the competitive drivers are piloting. So it's kind of time to drop or uh, bite the bullet and uh, drop our preferences a little bit. Um, forgive me for the camo. Um, yeah, I've got the blood orange on there. Doesn't match my unit's camo. Sorry. I, I don't care. Uh, I love it, <laughs> especially, I mean, look at this storm grow. That, that's beautiful. I'm not going to put three shades of gray on that. That's gorgeous. So anyways, 
Thanks for watching, and uh, hope this helps you prepare your drop decks. Take it easy.